My wife hates when I do these uh, segments that I like to call real life, where the reality of what my life is like, kind of a controlled chaos, as you can see, I bring to the camera because I don't want people to ever get the idea that anyone, whether they be a, a Billy Graham or a Greg Laurie or Rick Warren or whoever it may be, that if you look up to someone and you think that their life is oh so perfect and that they don't have the same issues or the same problems or the same challenges that you go through, then think again. Because you see, every human being deals with the reality of our flesh. We all go through it. Sometimes we're up. Sometimes we're down. Sometimes we're tired, you know. Sometimes it just gets to be a whole lot to do. And frankly, I don't care what kind of gift you got. You can't do everything all the time, every day, in every way that you think you want to do it. Sometimes God just says, take it easy. Relax. Don't worry about it. I got it. He's got it, not you. So... I don't know about you, but there are days where I just feel like, you know what, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm burned out. But what God wants us to do when we are burned out and tired and blown out is he doesn't want us to fake it. He doesn't want us to go out there and say, oh, you know, you just got to buck up, buddy. You know, you just got to like, hey, put it all together, you know, and have it all looking good for the people because... After all, you're setting an example. You want them to follow you as you follow Jesus, right? I don't think so. <laughs> now, maybe for some of you, you like to use that analogy and that model, but I personally think that it's better to follow Jesus first, foremost, beginning and end and last than it is to follow any man and try to imitate that man. Because what happens is if you put a, a man on a pedestal, he's going to fall off. But you put Jesus on the pedestal or on the cross, and if he be lifted up, he will draw all men unto himself. Because the scripture says so. So if you do get burned out and bummed out, you know, and tired, admit it. Just stop what you're doing. Go to God and admit you don't feel like it. And you know, God just might help you out there. Speaking of which, boy, <laughs> when I use these glasses to try to read, it's like, oh, man, I can't see. So, obviously, we're totally prepared for the day. Of course not. Just like you, I have a tendency of putting things down and I can't find them. Where'd they go? So when they disappear on me, just like anybody else in the world, and just like you, I'm sure, you go, you know, I'm so organized in business, then I come home, I'm kind of like sort of disorganized. Or I'm so together in ministry, but then, you know, I go into business, I'm so disorganized. And then you go to, man, you know, I'm doing fine, and then I got among the brethren, and I was kind of like, man, I was blowing my cookies. Or you're, or you're one of those totally disorganized people and you need to get organized <laughs> because you're a slob. <laughs> well, having been all those things and built a reputation of each one of those in a different way at a different time in my life, I find that it didn't matter whether you had an immaculate house, a disorganized house, whether your life was chaos or whether your life was completely ordered, God always screwed me up. <laughs> He'd always come in and do something just kind of... Because He wants you to trust in Him, not trust in the things that you can see or that you put your 
stock and trade in by saying, oh, you know, I look so good now. <laughs> I'm Mr. Perfect. <laughs> I got the big S on my chest, you know, and I'm like, oh, cool. No, 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 no. God can use you more when you're tired and burned out, really, than he can sometimes when you think you got it all together. In starting your day, keep balanced. For we who have believed, adhered to, and trusted in, and relied on God, do enter that rest. From Hebrews 4.3 It is easy to get overcommitted, burned out, bummed out, worn out, and stressed out, if you are trying to keep up with too many commitments. It is out of balance to try to do everything. If you are happy doing what you do, keep doing it. But if it wears you out and robs you of peace, don't do it. What sense does it make to commit to something and then murmur and complain about it while you're doing it? Shut up and quit doing it. <laughs> Being overwhelmed will frustrate you. Anxiety is usually a sign that God never told you to do what you're doing in the first place. To avoid frustration in your life, keep balanced. Always seek the Lord You know, in trying to adapt your life to His way of doing things as opposed to your way of completing things. It's a whole lot easier to walk with God than it is to run with man. And believe me, if your life is a rat race, you've already got the answer. You're doing it wrong. Because it's not about how fast you can go, but really who you take along the way. Because if God ain't in it, why are you doing it? So maybe today you're like me and you're going, man, I am really, really tired. I could use a nap. Then go take a nap. <laughs> you can get to the housework eventually, you know. Yesterday I did all kinds of things, you know. I managed to vacuum and shampoo my carpet. Wow, cool. You know, cut six videos and post 42 blogs and or 42 posts and who knows how many blogs and blah, 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 blah. Does anybody really care? No. Because it only matters to one person at one moment in time, reading one thing that they are inspired by from Jesus. And that's all it is, is that one moment in time when God decides to intervene in a person's life. That's all it takes. So leave it to his hands and don't worry about your plans. And you'll find that everything will work out eventually for good. Because God will turn around your weariness if you rest in him to exaltation as you are comforted by him while you sleep. So sometimes, take it easy. Relax. Don't worry. Hey, no problem. God's got it. He's got the whole world in his hands. And he's just waiting to get a hold of it again. And you. <laughs>